This is the second instalment to the bridge pot. In this video, we're going to start giving it a clean. And also, you'll see us put the top of the turret back on. Whew, boy, that was difficult. So, we're going to need some WD-40. We're going to need lots of rags. And most importantly, we're going to need lots of elbow grease. Right, so this was all rusty before and on the inside. So all I did, WD-40 and a scratch bright. And it's come up really nice. So it's ready to go back on now. So we're just going to put a little bit of uh, a bit of wear oil on the top of the turret. We're going to try and lift this into place. Hopefully. I need this to do. I need to sort of I mean the centre of this held dot fingers underneath. It's like pushed over by how a lot. I can polish a handle while I'm around it. Wait a minute. There you go. More party, that? Yeah. Don't try this at home. Jobs are good, Like a glove. That is very, very heavy. Like I said, don't try this at home. Uh, how people get these moved around with an engine crane is beyond me because that engine crane was no good whatsoever I'm putting that on. It was good enough for us to get it onto the knee, but that's it, we couldn't get it any closer. We couldn't get any further back. Obviously the base of the machine is so heavy, we can't spin it round, we can't throw it around. But it's up, it's on. We can get on with cleaning it now. It's time for a tea break.
So I've left that, I'll have that soaking a little bit this, this way and a bit of WD-40, put a bit more on and we're going to use a bit of scotch bright and see how it comes up. See if we can get it shiny. Look at that. Perfect, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, you can still feel them as well. Alright, let me just get a new piece. Get a new piece, we'll do it again. Right, so I've got a new piece. It's a 360. that that is beautiful <coughs> now obviously once we've got it all clean we'll get a bit of whey oil on it all <coughs> now as you can see in this bit there's like there's, there's very little scratching there's very little wear uh, that's come up beautiful that Right, we should crack on. I'll get all this top bit done. Right, so I've cleaned all the slideways now and they've come up an absolute beaut. I've just given them a quick quick wipe off with some slideway oil. Just to give them a little bit of protection while we're working and cleaning everything up until we get everything everything back together. You've, as you just saw, I've put some across the tops here. See if we can push a bit of the, the old grease and oil behind because I don't really want to take the knee off. I'm quite sure there should be an oiler here on the sides, which there isn't on either side of here. So I don't know what's happened to those. I just need to double check what size they are and we can order some and we can start pumping oil in and see if we can get rid of the grease because it should be slideway oil, not grease. But generally everything seems to be, everything seems to look really smart. There's, there's very little, there's a few little bits and pieces of marks, but nothing, there's nothing to worry about that I can see. You know, there are things here and there that I am starting to notice that needs you know it needs a little bit of love we've got one here it seems not to have i've put this in by the way uh there was no screw in here so the pinion can come out um having looked how much they are i'm, I'm astonished what people are charging for certain parts for a part no bigger than that you know, £13 for a part that big. No, I think we're going to make one. I've found that bolt lying around the workshop, so hopefully we can turn that into an appropriate pin to hold that back in. That's it for this video. Join me again for more fun with the Bridgeport, watching me get my hands dirty cleaning it. Stay safe. Laders. <laughs>